What's up you guys, Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today we're going to be talking about the Mondo Godzilla 84 Sunrise Variant figure. Just to get straight on into this review, again, if you guys watched my video where I talked about Mondo and their issues and stuff, you kind of know where I stand on things. Again, I don't absolutely hate Mondo, I just wish that they would just get their stuff in order um, because as a collector and paying money for these things and they're kind of on the price of your side you don't want to gamble that way it's not fun um, anyways that out of the way if you missed my talk about Mondo video definitely go back and watch that and then come back and watch this review gonna keep things as positive as I can so now, let's just dive straight on into this Godzilla 84 figure, and let's talk about the header card. Header card here, very nice. Again, Mondo has done several of these uh, Godzilla 84 sculpts, uh, different variants. This is the Sunrise variant. I liked the color on this guy a lot. Uh, it, he was a lot just, I don't know. There was just something about the other Mondo 84s that I just wasn't digging but I digged the color on this guy a lot. Really like it. Uh, really glad mine did not arrive with any uh, broken tail issues that a lot of people have been dealing with. But anyway, header card here, really nice. You got Godzilla and the Japanese kanji. Godzilla 84, soft vinyl figure. Again, little bit of uh, false advertising, false marketing there. These are not really soft vinyl figures. They are a very sturdy, uh, hard vinyl in all honesty you have the Godzilla logo there you have the Mondo logo right there on the back side here you have Godzilla in that classic kind of rock you know crack lettering buy direct at mondoshop.com again if anyone's interested in Mondo uh, at this point all I can say is with their figures you're kind of buying at your own risk um, which is kind of a shame. I really hope they get things in order to where that is not a thing. Um, because again, there's a lot of collectors that are not happy, uh, with Mondo as of late. You know, they, they picked back up their production and were doing really good. And then beginning of this year, 2023, they, they dropped the ball. They dropped it in a big way. They are not doing very well. So I really hope they turn it around. Toho logo, Mondo logo. collector's model you know these this is not really a child's toy here is the design uh, designed and sculpted by Hector Arce of course made in China <laughs> just like freaking everything <laughs> anyway so that's the header card get out of the way let's talk about the figure here so here is Godzilla 84 Godzilla 84 is not my favorite Godzilla design, but I do like it. Uh, Godzilla 84 is a fan favorite amongst a lot of people. So it is a very, um, it's a very, you know, whenever, whenever a figure comes out, of, uh, comes out of Godzilla 84, all the 84 fans go crazy. Um, sometimes myself included, depending on what it is. Again, I really liked the color on this guy. So that's what sold me on it as well as the gimmick. But again, the gimmick was also false marketing and false advertising. I'll talk about that here in a minute. But um, the Mondo 84 Godzillas all have the same sculpt. They're just all different variant colors. So this is the exact same figure as all the rest. It's just a different color. But very cool nonetheless. Let's go straight on into with paint. Paint. The Sunrise variant here. Sporting very nice yellow oranges, almost looks gold. You know, very tropical look for him. You know, sometimes when you, you know, when you look at something very tropical or refreshing, how your mouth kind of waters a little bit, you know, that's the vibe this guy kind of gives off, at least for me. You know, when I see this guy, I think of, you know, sitting on a beach in Hawaii or some tropical island, and then this is just some fancy, like, mango pineapple ocean breeze berry uh like slush or punch or drink you know what i mean 
he just kind of gives off that vibe with his colors. But again, very shiny. As you can see here in the light, he's very shiny. But you got very nice oranges, yellows. Again, just basically almost kind of like a gold. Looks very, very nice. Dorsal plates here, a very nice light tropical again like a sea blue the transition from the blue to the base color of the figure you almost get some green highlights in there you almost get some lime green highlights which is very nice his eyes are a red with silver his teeth are a silver his claws on his hands and his feet are a very shiny silver. So overall, very nice paint with this figure. Looks really, really good. Again, I love the way this figure is, but it also was a disappointment. Again, luckily mine didn't arrive with any broken tail or any pieces, so I'm thankful for that. But um, I'll get into it in a minute. I'm jumping the gun here. Let's move on to detail. Detail with this guy. Look at Godzilla's skin, very 84-esque. He almost did have a lot more of a lumpy chest and abdomen in 84. So really nice paying attention to detail there. The neck, you know, rows and everything, very nice. He has these two lines going down the chest, which is very 84. Again, all the scales and everything. Very, very nicely well done. Knees and legs, very 84. Toes, very 84. Bottoms of the feet, smooth, but you do have the Toho stamp there. Hands and arms, very nice. I like the knuckle detail and everything on the hands. It's very, very well done. The fingers are very well individually sculpted. Teeth and everything nicely etched into the sculpt there you know very fangy which Godzilla 84 was the eyes look fantastic the head sculpt itself little tiny ears again this is 84 from any angle it's 84 looks beautiful I love the dabs of the paint on the dorsal plates going from the top of the head down that's very very nice to look at dorsal plates themselves very very nice and beautiful again they are 100 percent 84 again i also like how they're blue so it's almost like he is charging up his atomic breath or he's holding on to the uh the the nuclear reactor and charging from that again very nice paint all the way down to the very tip of the tail as a lot of other companies stimp out on sometimes continuing to paint the dorsal plates, Mondo here did a very good job continuing it all the way from the start, all the way down. The only ones that really aren't painted are these kind of like little side ones, but that's okay. Not a big deal. I think it looks better that way in my opinion. Tail. Nice, short and stubby tail. Again, this isn't an accurately proportioned uh, Godzilla figure. Uh, this falls in line with more of like Marmont and M1 type figures. Not only because of the color, but because of the proportions. So again, his tail is a little, you know, stubby, but kind of just comes up at a curl. Very, very nice. So very nice detail all the way around. Articulation on this guy. His arms swivel, they are a little tight. They don't necessarily go all the way back, but he does have nice swivels there at the biceps. Legs are very tight. You can only get them to kick out so far. Again, this is not soft vinyl. You can only get that to kick out so far. And then his tail, even you can rotate it however you see fit and that's about it again these really aren't toys you know they've, they they are definitely collector's items so you're just gonna have basically be having him in one pose 
And I've actually seen people who have actually collected all of the Godzilla 84 variants from Mondo. And as a collection, seeing all of them together, all the different colors that they are and everything, they do look very nice. I'll give it that. But I am very happy with this Sunrise variant as far as how it looks. On to his gimmick, which is not present. And I did not learn this till later. Uh, one of the other selling points of this figure is that they advertised it as a glowy figure. It glows in the dark. And then later on, after some trial and error, I found out from other collectors who have collected glowy figures from Mondo that Mondo's figures don't glow at all. Um, they glow, but guys, I have left this guy in direct sunlight. I have used UV light. I have used every type of light I can think of for hours at a time to let him charge. I get nothing. Very disappointing, um, especially if you're a glowy fan and you bought the glowy figures because you have a glow in the dark collection. There are people that have those figures and have those collections. Mondo would be a very big disappointment because none of their stuff that they advertise or market as a glowy figure glow. Again, hours at a time in all different kinds of light, I've barely gotten a little bit of a glow. Nothing even hardly noticeable. Barely. And it's really disappointing. Especially because I don't have a lot of glow-in-the-dark stuff. I'm not really not a collector of that. But I was like, you know what? That's actually kind of cool. That not only is it a color variant that I really dig, but it's also a glowy figure. That's kind of neat. And then to find out that it really doesn't. Uh, big disappointment. Um... Again, it's false marketing. It's false advertising. Uh, you know, I'll post a picture up here to show that it was supposed to be a glowy figure. It, just no good. Just no good at all. You know, very, very disappointing. Again, from the picture and what it shows, this figure was supposed to light up like New Year's. But they don't. All of Mondo's light up uh, glow, glowy figures that they put out, they're supposed to be awesome glow in the dark figures, and they're not. Again, false advertising, false marketing, which is not right. Not right at all. It's no good. Mondo, again, get your stuff together. Next on you guys, for some scaling and comparisons, because I definitely want to do some comparisons with this guy. Let me start off with a Bandai Memorial Box, 50th Memorial Box, 84. So here he is compared with a six inch standard Bandai. So that's what you're looking at for size and scale. Here he is with a Marmot Godzilla 84 that I have. This one has more of a, a Cybot look to him. Bigger, bigger scale of a figure, but they still actually look pretty good together. I love this figure. I just love how it looks like the Cybot. I don't appreciate this figure enough. <laughs> I know I have it, but man, Every now and then, I, like, I don't have, a, like, as much figures as some collectors do, but I still have a good amount. And every now and then, sometimes I just take a moment to be like, you know what, I've had this, and it's like, wow, I'm just kind of appreciating this for a minute. I really like it. But anyway, there's that comparison. And then lastly, a figure that kind of is almost the same... This is an older Marmot. This Marmot came out in 2004. Here is another Marmot 84. And guys, I think I know where Mondo kind of got their direction for these 84 figures because if you really kind of look at them, there's some similarities. There is some similarities. Tell me I'm wrong. 
but there is the Marmot 84 with uh, Mondo's 84. Again, there's some similarities here, guys. Not 100%, but, I mean, the tails, the arms, the necks, the heads a little bit, the bodies itself maybe a little bit. Yep, there's some, uh, there's some details there. But yep, there he is with the Marmot 84. I got this figure at G-Fest. This was one of my last buys of the show that year. I forget what year it was I went, but I fell in love with it. I think I got this from uh, Radioactive Toys, I think, is where I got this from. So I was really happy. Again, you got the Marmot stamp, Toho stamp, year it came out, 2004. But yeah, I just thought that was uh, a very fun comparison right here. So like always, you guys, we are Godzilla fan freaks. Hope you enjoyed my review on this Mondo Godzilla 84 Sunrise variant. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to atomic blast that notification bell also. And then don't forget to like and follow Godzilla Fan Freaks on Facebook. Don't forget to follow Godzilla Fan Freaks over on Instagram. As well as don't forget to tune in to my weekly episodes of Kaiju Chill O'Clock. Alright you guys, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.